Hello and welcome guys, Armageddon Videos here, today with a tutorial on how to break stuff within After Effects. And yeah, first of all, let me tell you the story behind all this. Um, three years or so ago, I wanted to find out on how to create or how to fracture or destroy objects within um, After Effects itself. And well, there was this video, I think it was this here. And yeah, I've seen this effect where the cube was getting destroyed by the ball and I wondered on how to create this in After Effects. And it was like three years ago or so and well, I've played around with Newton back then and I could I could create this right here as well. But um, I wanted to ask this guy how he created this and how his workflow was and well, I've just contacted him, Tero Malinen, very nice guy. He helped me out by sending a little screen capture from his PC showing me how he worked and check this guy out. He worked on several films, very nice guy. And yeah, we've discussed the workflow on how to create this piece. And well, we came to the conclusion that we could use mask to masks to actually split up this object and then destroy it with Newton, a physics plugin for After Effects, which we're going to use today as well. But as the coincidence wants it, um, I was just scrolling through Dribble and I found this right here. And well, as I saw this it came in my mind that they must have used Newton as well. And I've just checked it right here in the text and seeing the project files that are attached. But I wondered how they created it. And well, I'm just going to show you today how to fracture objects within After Effects. Check out those two guys as well. First 10 and Rich Hinchcliffe. Very great artists right here as I'm showing you the results, and yeah. Alrighty, let's start with the tutorial. And I've prepared something for you guys. We are going to use Illustrator today to um, to actually break down our objects or to cut them into pieces, vector graphics. And let me just show you. Yeah, I'm just going to show you the project. Well, first of all, we got this right here. Let me show you. We got the bullet flying through and then crashing through the law. So we are breaking the law today. And yeah, well, this is not necessary to render this long. And as you can see, it looks very great. I'm going to show you basic time remapping so that the bullet, bullet comes in really fast, goes through the text in slow motion and then um, goes out of the scene really quick again. As you can see, it looks really great and everything done in After Effects. Um, before using Newton, actually, I've did it in Cinema 4D by yeah, by applying a complete 100% luminance channel to my objects that I'm going to fracture, so they look actually very, very flat. But yeah, I really like this here in After Effects. And well, show me your ideas when you're using this tutorial or write them down in the comments, please, because well, there is there are a lot of opportunities to use this effect. As you can see right here, I think I've made another one. Let me just show you real quick. Was it this one? Oh no, it was comp three. Let me just render this for you guys. As you can see, a abstract animation right here. Boom. Yeah, you can do a lot with it. It's very great for motion graphics. And well, enough with the introduction. Let's actually restart after effects or well, let's just create a new project whoops don't save the old one and let's create a new composition this window will pop up 30 fps 10 seconds will be enough uh, let's call this break stuff in after effects with armagan videos boom well, actually, we should hop over to Illustrator now. And this is what I've prepared for you. I've got the bullet right here. You can download it in the description in case you don't want to create it by yourself. But you can just screen screenshot it now and recreate it in, after, uh, in Illustrator if you want, as well as those shapes. But we are not going to use them today because I'm just going to show you how to fracture the text. Fracture the text. And as you can see right here, I've got this law text. And if I switch to the outline mode by pressing Command and Y, um, you can see that 
this is actually fractured into many parts. And yes, I'm going to show you how to do this right now. And we're going to use the same text again. Um, I'm just going to use Gotham black boom. And I'm just going to type out law and then crank this up. And as you can see, the, the font spacing looks a bit weird. So I'm just going to go to object expand. You always have to expand this hit. Okay. And I'm bringing this over here. So the, the distances will be the same. No, I'm a perfectionist guys. I'm a perfectionist. So just like this, what I don't like is that those don't align very well, but however, let's bring them apart a bit. Boom, this should be enough. So we've got our text just right here. I'm going to make it white real quick. And what we are going to use now is the knife tool. With the knife tool, you can cut shapes and yeah, layers into parts actually, or not layers, shapes only. And well, it's hidden behind the eraser tool, eraser tool, knife, boom, right here. And what we're going to do now is just cut lines through our text right here, just like you're playing the Fruit Ninja app. And yeah, boom, 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 boom. I got you in my room. Damn, there you go. Just like this, make sure that, and yeah, um, depending on how many pieces you want and how small they are, you can add more and more cuts. Just like this. Ah, didn't like this one. I always want the cuts to look naturally. Yeah, this should be enough now. If we now switch to the outline mode again, you can see we've cut it into pieces. And next up, what we need to do is select uh, our text again, press Control C, hop over to After Effects, right click, New, Solid. And now we can choose the color of our text right here. I'm going to make it white. Ah, oh, no, I'm going to make it the, the bloody red. There we go. And I'm going to call it law text. Hit OK. And now press Control V to paste in your masks of Illustrator that are assembling that are assembling our text right here. And now switch the modes and make sure to hit this one right here. So it raster or continuously rasterizes our layer to make it look really sharp. And Click on our layer, press S, and let's crank this up right here. Boom. The only problem now that you can see is you can see the cuts in After Effects, but we can fix this by just duplicating our layer right here, and you can see it gets better and better. Yeah. But I'm going to show you a trick later on when we're finished with the um, with the artwork itself or another cool trick you could do actually is before cutting this into pieces you can just go back grab this text right here control c again go to after effects new solid same stuff again grab the size from here bring it in here now you get the clean text or the broken one. And later on, we're going to mask this out. So yeah, well, you're going to see. Let's rename this to be clean right here. Law text not broken. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, now let's bring in our, our bullet as well. Of course, you could also use AI files like uh, Illustrator files to import them into After Effects, but I really like this workflow of using this mask right here because it's very fast. So let's create a new solid, make it white real quick, boom. Let's call this one bullet, control V. To bring this in, now press R to go to the rotation. Type in minus 90, oops, minus 90. Boom, and let's keyframe or let's bring down the size. And now let's keyframe our bullet. At the beginning, it should be right around here. 
and after two seconds it should fly all the way through our text. Boom. And of course, while using the principles of animation, you shouldn't use linear keyframes and you can adjust it, but or make it just easy ease or something like this, but I'm just going to leave it like here, like this because the bullet is so fast that it will almost look linear. And let's see how it looks. Yeah, pretty slow actually, but this is enough. And what we need to do now is create our boundaries for our layer right here. Maybe there's another way for it, but well, I'm used to it like this and hadn't had the time to actually see if we could do it another way. And I'm just going to drag out shapes to limit our area right here, our working area, as you can see. Boom, those are going to be our walls for our um, for our pieces that were broken down. Just like this, and one more. Let's see if there are no pieces that are going into our composition. Uh, we can adjust this one right here. Okay. Okay, next up, we need Newton 2. At least I'm using Newton 2. And it's going to separate all those little masks within this layer. And it's going to create um, separate shapes for them or out of them so that they react with our bullet right here. Okay, let's get to the fun part. Let me just save this real quick. Um, desktop. And let's call this break stuff in AE with Armageddon videos. Boom. Okay, go to composition, Newton 2. Of course, you need to get this plugin. It's not built in with After Effects. That would be too great. Now let's select our law text because this has um, masks and I want to separate it. As you can see right here, boom, hit separate. And now you should get this window right here. And for our shape layer, which is basically our wall, we're going to select them as dead. Or wait, static. This is it. And if we would play this now, you could see that there's this very buggy because our bullet is within those shapes. And if they react physically together, this is just going to get pushed out, as you can see right here. So we need to make groups, as you can see. This is by this is done by clicking on advanced and all those little thingies right here are in different groups or by now they are all are in group A. And well, now we have to think about it. Our bullet should be in our bullet should be in group B. As you can see it changed. And this shape, those shapes right here, the walls should only collide with shapes from group A, not with our bullet, as you can see right here. And now we need to change our bullet from, or we need to change the bullet type from dynamic to kinematic. This means this is going to be animated by keyframes within After Effects. As you can see, it flies through, boom, and hits our text right here. But we don't want our text to be, um, yeah, to be, how's it called in English again? To get affected by the gravity, we just want it to move until the, the bullet hits it. As you can see right here, it's going down. We don't want it, so make sure to select every single mask right here that is related to the text, as you can see, boom. And now change the type for all of them to dormant. This means they're just going to move or uh, yeah, they're going to move if something hits them. And this is our bullet. As you can see, it's still, it's still, it's still. Boom, our tech, our bullet hit, hits it. And then After Effects is going to calculate everything. And as you can see, it collides with our walls right here. And this is pretty epic. Boom. Crazy stuff, right? And, well, I was dumb. You have to check the um, the frame number for how long you want to render this simulation. And I guess 200 or something like this should be good or enough. 
Let me see. Where nothing does move anymore. Yeah. 200 should be fine. So put 200 into here and make sure to hit render. Boom. And you can do this with all kinds of stuff. Of course, vectors will be very easy because you can use uh, you can use Illustrator to create the masks for you and bring them into After Effects. If you want to break down pixel graphics, you have to create the masks within After Effects manually. Uh, it's not a big deal at all, but it's very easy to work with um, to work with vector graphics. And if you're wondering why isn't anything showing up right here, well, Newton is creating a new composition for you, so there is nothing broken. I don't know what this thingy is right here, but I think we just need to turn it off. I hope there's no bug going on. Yeah, everything worked. As you can see, boom, anything animated and we are breaking the law. And well, now this looks really weird because you can see actually that the text is, mm, yeah, it's not broken right here. And then one frame ahead, boom, this weird effect pops up and we're going to fix this by selecting everything in here oops what did I just click <laughs> just misclicked something sorry guys caps lock to refresh view oh okay there we go Everything's working again. Um, I accidentally clicked caps lock. So we need to select all of our layers. Oh, what a mess. And right click, pre-compose. You can call it whatever you want. I'm going to call it final. And here you can see that's our comp with the text. And what we need to do now is get the text not broken that we've got from Illustrator. enable it so it's clean and as the bullet comes in right around here we are going to turn off our clean layer right here as you can see we get our clean layer we turn on the continuously rasterize function and then when the bullet comes in Oops, of course, we need to get the bullet out of here. So let's grab the bullet, control C, turn it off right here, bring it in in here. And now the bullet comes, boom, and then the text breaks. And of course, you can animate this as well, because let me just quickly show you. If the bullet touches the text, those uh, those letters right here are breaking and if you don't want that if you just want the if anything hits this text and you want then the text to break you can just create a mask and manually go around it so how is this going to work now well this is our setup we got the bullet we got our clean text right here as a solid with the masks and we got our animation and well we got the clean text right here until the bullet hits it but as you can see those parts right here are breaking as well which is kind of unrealistic so we need to work with masks to fix this it's not too hard but a bit tricky and maybe a bit hard to understand but not too hard okay um what we need to do now is cl uh, cl click on our text right here go to pre-compose and make sure to click move all attributes into the new composition. This will put the mask, the mask that we have right now into new composition so that we can create new masks above it. Hit OK. As you can see, if we press M on here, it would usually show our mask, but now it shows nothing because there are no masks in this composition. Now press G and let's create our mask right here. Boom, 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 and Boom. 
Okay, let's go in here. And of course, we need to stretch this out now. Go back in here. And as you can see, now we have our clean text over here. And in the beginning, let me press M, make sure to animate our mask path. I'll press U so you see all the keyframes. In the beginning, the mask should look like this. Make sure to click on the layer once so we can drag those handles right here. And in the beginning, it should look like this. But then when the text hits it, let me create a keyframe right here. When the text hits it, the M, uh, the, the W should be broken just like this. All right. Next up, when it flies around and touches the A, we create another keyframe just around here, bring it one frame ahead. And now the A should be broken as well. As you can see, touches it, boom, breaks down, touches the A, breaks down and just as it touches the L. Let's create a new keyframe, bring it one frame ahead. And let's move this over here. Boom. Now we also need to animate our oops. Now we also need to create a mask for our animation right here. And therefore, let's select the layer again, press G. Therefore, we do the same again. Maybe I think we could also copy this mask in here, but let's just do it manually, manually to be safe. So as you can see, this looks quite clean now. And let's press M to get to our mask path again, hit U or hit the stopwatch to actually keyframe it. Press U again so you see all keyframed keyframes. And so when we are here and it touches it, I guess right around here, we should create a keyframe one frame ahead and drag this out completely. We need to match up the keyframes with those above right here. Boom. And the same stuff again. Create a keyframe. Go one ahead. Oops. Select this layer and make sure to make it as big as possible to catch all the all the little bits and pieces of our breaking part. There we go. Let me see how this looks. Of course, we should adjust it right here as well. Okay, let's quickly do a RAM preview. As you can see, there's a little bug with the mask right here. We're going to fix it. Yeah, but that's it. As you can see, this is really, yeah, it looks really nice and clean. Then it, the bullet touches it and it breaks down. Boom, just like glass. Then this pieces right here touch the A. Boom, it breaks down and those pieces touch the L. But as you can see, our mask is cutting right here. It's, it's cutting our shapes. And yeah, you can fix this by making the masks a bit more clean. So I'm just going to do this real quick. Just like this should be fine, I guess. Yeah. There we go. Looks awesome and fresh. And now grab the whole composition, right click, pre-compose. Uh, okay. And now you can right click. Oh, misclicked. Where do we have it again? Didn't I just create a new comp? Yeah, it's this one. And now right click time, enable time remapping. 
And in case you don't know how time remapping works, let's stretch this out again. This basically are keyframes that are showing you at which position or at what time. Yeah, it's really hard to explain. You should, yeah, let me just show you. This keyframe indicates that we are at 000 at the beginning of our frame. This keyframe indicates that we are at 929 at the uh, at the end of our frame. If you now drag this to the front, you can see it's still 10 because like 10 seconds, but we shrank down the, the difference. And now this means if we've uh, compressed those from zero to 10 seconds to zero to five seconds, it's going to be way faster. So it's just logic. And let's reverse this real quick or redo this. And what we want to do is we want the bullet to be very fast from here, maybe. So make a keyframe. And then from here, we want it to go into slow motion to right around here. Boom, and then it can go, it can go normal again. And during in this little area right here, we want it to be slowed down. So what do we do? We stretch this run this one out right here. So it goes normal, goes slow, and then normal again. Of course, there are many time remapping tutorials on YouTube in case you didn't understand it here. Um, this is not a time remapping tutorial, but yeah, you can see it in other tutorials, or maybe you also understand it or understood it right here, but that's even better. All right, let me show you this. Okay, let's go around, around here. It's normal, then slow motion, boom, normal again. Normal, slow motion, boom, normal. Of course, you can make it even slower. Let me see. Okay, now it should play back. Very cool. Boom, there you go. Looks awesome. You've successfully broken the law. Is this even right English? I don't know. Well, however, it's about learning something new. <laughs> okay. Well, we've just finished this, tuto uh, this tutorial and I would be very happy, guys, if you could suggest me or actually show me your ideas that you've created with this tutorial, what kind of stuff you can break down, how you broke it down, because you can use this for motion graphics in case you're making like a cool triangle that's popping out of something like a pop-up effect, and then you're going to break it and it flows into pieces into the space or something like this. Yeah, please just share your results with me in the comments below. I would be very happy. And... Yeah, because I like to see your outcome, what you're doing with uh, with this stuff. I'm always commenting on people that are showing me their art, and I'm very happy to see this. And uh, yeah, that's it for the tutorial, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, stay tuned for more tutorials. There are going to be one very awesome flat design animation and creation tutorial, as well as a great special, more for the German scene. Or it's, it's going to be in English, but, uh, well, it's a very huge trend in Germany right now, and I'm going to make a tutorial about it. I don't want to speak too much about it, but, well, you're going to see it. It has a lot of effort put into it because, yeah, the organization for it is just crazy. And, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Armagan videos.